So let me go ahead and, and demonstrate how to build one of these compact boat elevators. Um, I don't claim any credit for it. I first saw the elevator on Armitage's Digging Minecraft show, and I believe he found it from somewhere else. So I'm going to try and, if I can, give credit to everybody that I know of that was involved in this project. So this video is just to demonstrate how I'm going to build one of these on the Geomine server. So, let me get started here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, because these are dispensers, and I you can't place dispensers on each other, you need some surface to place them on, I'm going to start by placing down um, a wall. Um, you're going to be trying to, to ascend a cliff or a wall or something, so that's what I'm going to start with. Um, next, I'm going to put in the floor. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, go like that. And then we'll put down one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go six dispensers to start with. Actually, the first dispenser is going to be below the floor. So this is going to be where our first floor is right here. Or our lower floor. And the first dispenser is below that. So then you put in some glass. Just a little bit. And then opposite the dispensers, you need a column of something. Could be this could be glass, this could be stone. Um, it needs to be something you can attach a sign to. So you need to put signs all the way up. And let's go ahead and finish up putting in our glass. The glass is going to contain the boat and the water. And I believe you can use glass panes, iron bars, or fences to do this with. But I think the glass just looks better. I'm going to go ahead and put buckets of water in the dispensers to start with. Okay, I just put dispensers into the first first two, so that when I put down this torch, it will activate the bottom two dispensers. And with the bottom two dispensers activated, your boat should be able to fall down the elevator and stop here on the first floor. So that's why those are there. And let's create a little access hatch that we can get into and put the boat down on there. Okay, now that we've got the boat ready and the first two dispensers ready, um, we're gonna need to set up our vertical wiring and get a push button set up. So, let me, let me double check this for a second. So it's on the fourth, on the fourth dispenser, one, two, three, four. You put in your first red redstone torch facing the dispenser itself. And then you put in a backwards one. And then you put in another one facing it. And they should go zigzagging all the way up, as far up as you can go, back and forth, back and forth, just like this. So to, to get the push button activated, we need to create a line of wiring. Okay, I've got a button on the front here and I'm going to put a line of redstone across here and a repeater into this block here so it should look like, the wiring should look like this. So you've got your vertical back and forth wiring here 
with uh, torches and then this line here with a repeater leading into the block and let's go ahead and test that out I'm gonna push the button oh I need to load it up with uh, dispenser or with buckets be back in a second okay with the dispensers loaded with buckets let's give it another test and there it goes and the boat floats nice quite nicely push the button again and dispensers actually act like T flip flops now which is pretty cool so you can I've seen somebody use the dispensers as T flip flops so you push the button activate you push the button again they deactivate no additional wiring necessary um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the return button there should be a button up here at the top so that you can uh, call the boat and send it back down okay that looks good let's put a button up there and the vertical wire I'm creating next is for downwards for going down um, it may not be the best or most efficient, but it's what I know that works. <laughs> so I place a torch and then two blocks below, I place a redstone with the torch. And then below that, a redstone. So let's test it out. Let's take a ride on the boat this time. Okay. Huh. Push the button. Elevator goes up. Push the button. Elevator goes down. Okay. Here is okay here is my temporary second floor and I'm going to want to go down to the first floor so I come over here and I push the button and the elevator comes up hello elevator climb in the boat push the button and the elevator goes down and I get out So that concludes this part of the tutorial. Check back with the next tutorial and I'll sh show you guys how I set up a floor selector or a multi-floor selector for this. So thanks for watching and have a good day.